Let's get this thing going. Check one, two. The Hip Hop Study Hall podcast with DJ Eakin starts now. About hip hop. Let me tell you something, man. If, if it's one thing that I like to do, it's um, I feel like every time I open this mic here with this Hip Hop Study Hall podcast that I'm going to learn something, right? I'm going to learn something. That's how I feel. So when I call this brother right here, he might have been shocked what I was calling him for. But I feel like when I look in this industry, if it's one of the dudes that I look at and I respect, one of my brothers, and I ever since I've met this dude, I'd be like, yo, like, I love what he's doing. I don't talk to him every day, but I see it from afar. I see the work he's put in and I'm proud to know him. And I was like, I know he don't like to talk about himself a lot. He's expressed that to me, but if I could get him to give me 30 <laughs> minutes here, 30 minutes, then we would have something. My man, Corey Sparks, let me get this title right. VP of promotion at Epic Records. How are you, man? Great. I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. You know, back in the saddle, it's January. We back at it. You know, um, you know, turn, turn, time to uh, turn the ship on. So, how did you even get your start in the, in this game? Let's get let's get how you even got your start in this game. Well, I started um, on street team. I was I was a street team guy. I did. I, I had a. Um, I was on a street team. At the same time, I was an intern at a radio station in Nashville, and um, I was I had a college radio show. That's when I was in graduate school. I had a college radio show. And everybody's like, yo, you should really be on radio, yada, yada, yada. So I went to the radio station in Nashville. I'm like, yo, I want a radio show. I just, you know, because I'm young and dumb, don't know how to talk to nobody. Right. <laughs> and it was like, nah, but you're going to be a promotion intern. All I did was me. I was like, I'm in the building. That's all I wanted to do. I like, as long as I get in the building, I'm going to hustle. I'm going to figure it out. Right. I ended up being in a promotion, a promotion intern, and I got bitten by the promotion bug. But I end up still doing overnights, pro, um, producing morning shows, then overnights, and then I started doing nights at one point. But I also I was always a street team guy. I had all these accounts. Um, and one day my boss came to me and was like, you got to pick a side. <laughs> you can't – you got to pick a side. Because I'm the, I, I was had – I had every label. Right. Every label I had all this stuff. I was also working mix show. My station where I'm doing nights as well as the station. I'm calling the mixers at the, my competing stations like, yo, don't forget to play this record today. And my right. boss like, yo, what are you doing? And so she's like, you got to pick a side. And, of course, you know, me being young and dumb, I didn't pick a side, so I got fired. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got fired. Experience. So, I ended up, so, exactly. So, I ended up, I had my company full time. Um, but while I was, you know, I had a mentor. His name was Lester Pace. Um, Shout out to Lester one, Pace, one, one of my many mentors. And I was, I was one day I was, um, I was based in Nashville. He was in, um, he was in Memphis. I was meeting with a guy from Warner Brothers. I was trying to get the Warner Brothers uh, street team account. It was the only street team account I didn't have. I had everything. I drove to, I drove to Memphis, and Lester told me, "Yo, come out of office before you leave." So I came out of office. He's like, "You want a job?" And I was like, doing what? <laughs> he was like, he said, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll train you. Do you want a job? He said, will you leave Nashville? I like, yeah, because I'm not from Nashville. I'm, you know, I'm from East St. Louis. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I was like, I'll go anywhere. I said, I ain't married to no city. So I literally had three conference calls from the drive from Memphis to Nashville. By the time I got to Nashville, I had a job with Interscope. Wow. Two days, la- two days later, they flew me to LA and I met the whole staff. It was like December and it was like, I met the whole staff and it was like, all right, well, you know, you're going to be a new regional for Interscope Geffen. Um, and they shipped me a computer, a printer and a Blackberry and told me to get to work. Wow. And so, and, and so I moved, I moved to Memphis and Lester taught me the business. And when I say he's probably one of the best, promotion guys in the biz ever, ever. Like I still admire him from afar. He's and I talk to him every week. He's just he's just so good at what he does. And I'm from there I went to e I worked for Kashi E one. And then it was a it was a guy named Benny Pugh I met when he was at Def Jam. Yeah, Big Benny. And <laughs> Big Benny. And can I can I cuss on this or Yeah, go ahead, bro. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> so 
Benny is a dude from East New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know Benny. Benny. Well, yeah. So I'm 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 a, I'm was on the street team, and I'm sure you know Ron Heard too, correct? Yeah. This is regional for yes, sir. So Ron was on the road with an artist. So we they had some issues with a programmer in Nashville. So Ron was like, "Yo, can you take Benny around to the radio stations so he can have meetings?" Because because I'm on the road with an artist. So I took Benny around the whole city. I walked him into a lot of people's office that he probably couldn't get in because he didn't know him. He's just a VP. He just, you know, so I never forget. He got he, he got on my car. I, he was going to be there for like two or three days. He was like, I'm not leaving until I meet with all these people. I made sure he met with everybody the same day. Wow. So he was like, so he was like, yo, man, take me back to the, take me to the hotel. So I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. I'm going back That's to a Benny move, though. Yeah. So he said, I'm done. He said, I'm done. So I'm, I'm out of here. So I get into the airport and he was like, Yo, B, you know how you speak? Right. Yo, that, B, yeah. I don't even like speak team niggas, B. I may hire you one day. Closes the door. Don't talk to the motherfucker for eight years. Wow. Eight years. I've, 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 I've called him, emailed him. He never called me back. Never email me back, text nothing. So 2012, I get a call. Yo, B, you want a job? Like, <laughs> like I, ain't, I ain't talked to him in eight years. Right. What's up, B? You want a job? Because Arnold Taylor, another friend and mentor of mine, was like, yo, B, you want a job? He's like, I say, yeah, hold tight. Hung the phone, Benny calls. Yo, you want a job? It was like the mafia games, you know what right. I'm saying? And they flew me to New York, and he was like, you got to move. Because at the time, I was living in Memphis. He was like, you got to move to the Midwest. Do you want to go home, which is St. Louis, or you want to go to Chicago? I'm like, send me to Chicago. Right. So um, right before I'm flying to Chicago to sign my lease, he calls me, hey, I want you to go to Cleveland. I'm like, what? And so this is the time. This is this is epic. Is just really we we brand itself. L.A. had just L.A. had just got there. Benny was there. We were. I was the last person on staff to get hired. Right. Our team wasn't even complete. So he was like, "Yo, I just want you to go to Cleveland for a year. Go to Cleveland for a year. You rusty. I want you to earn your chops. Get you know get knock the rust off. Because you go to Chicago, you gonna you gonna get swallowed up. I need you to go. So I was like, all right, whatever. Right. Went to Cleveland for four months, and he called me one day, yo, B, find you somewhere to live. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you moving to it. You moving to Atlanta. I was wow. like, and they they promoted my boy, Amir Boy, to National Mix Show guy, and they moved, and, and so I was being a regional for the Midwest and the Southeast, and then I got promoted to National, then I got promoted to VP uh, about a year and a half ago. Stop playing. Stop playing. Don't forget, man. Hit that subscribe button right now so you can catch all the updates and all the haps here at Hip Hop Study All. All right. It's your man, DJ Eakin. I see you. Subscribe. Hit it now.